Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's and Mariana's Coffee. Tonight on the Channel 2 News. A lawmaker shares his thoughts on the CNMI possibly requiring a visa for Chinese nationals to travel. Also tonight, the Boost program. Thousands of dollars gone to marketing free money. And we get a lesson in how to make cold-pressed cane juice for Christmas in the Marianas. In sports, some changes coming to the AK-5K this weekend. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Tangy pickles, slivered onions, tender pork covered in our delicious barbecue sauce, and topped on a homestyle bun. Behold, the McRib. It's not just a sandwich, it's an experience altogether. The McRib returns. ba da ba ba, -ba. Several members of Congress have written a letter to the Secretary of Homeland Security urging him to essentially stop the Parole in Place program and require Chinese nationals to obtain a B-1 or B-2 visa to enter the CNMI. This could have an effect on the local economy as the program has helped bring in countless Chinese tourists over the years. Channel 2 asked Representative Ed Probst what he thought about the letter. Honestly, I'm, I'm not surprised. I, I think we've had this coming. I mean, look no further than... All of the challenges we've had, uh, historically speaking, you know, from from when we lost our immigration uh, to uh, you know to the illegal workers uh, that were uh, you know working for IPI, right? That were brought in as tourists to all the the uh, the drug trafficking, the meth trafficking, but also all the uh, illegal Chinese nationals that were uh, going into Guam. Of course, that's going to raise eyebrows and uh, raise concerns about security issues and, and other things. So it's, it's not surprising. A visa program called the Economic Vitality and Security Travel Authorization Program, or EVS-TAP, could be an alternative option for the CNMI. This program would allow pre-screened Chinese nationals to travel without a visa only to the CNMI under specified conditions. Those looking to travel to the CNMI would have to submit a form in advance and receive an electronic travel authorization prior to their departure. The call is to uh, pursue the EVS TAP for Chinese tourists through uh, our 902 uh, talks. And, um, and that's, some, that's uh, something that, that is being uh, discussed and um, pushed through uh, the Senate and uh, the House has had some discussion over it. We, ha we don't have a unified voice on that. It's still under discussion. 
Christmas in the Marianas is in full swing at the Marianas Experience at T Galleria. The Marianas Experience launched officially last September and features several cultural activities, including dances, basket weaving, and historical artifacts. Freshly squeezed, locally sourced cane juice is also available to visitors. Cam Atalig from Tupu Cane Juice takes us through the cane juicing process. We have a farm in Capitol Hill, our farm, and then we also uh, partner with farmers from Rhoda and Tinian. So once we get the cane, we have to clean it, and then after it's all shaven and skinned, then we can put it through the machine here. And then once it goes through the machine, there's three rollers here that squeeze it. And in here, there's a strainer. So um, it just squeezes all the juice out and comes out completely dry in the backside. And then we get all the pure sugar cane juice. Gotcha. So when did your family start doing this? I mean, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Yeah, uh, we started in April 20, or this year, 2023. So it's been less than a year. And we just had so much sugar cane at our farm because uh, one of our family members gave us a bunch of seeds, so we just planted it. Then it just grew like wildfire. So we're like, okay, what do we do with it? And uh, that's when we started researching about a juicery with sugarcane, and here we are today. Channel 2 caught up with this Chinese visitor. She says that although she's not a dancer herself, she did enjoy seeing the performers. I counted the, the, the dance, just, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, the dance. I, I like, I like the watch, watch the, the Marina, Marina local, the, the dance, the dance show. This Saturday, they'll be continuing a special holiday competition in which middle schoolers will be performing Christmas carols. Mariana's experience ambassador John Hasano is helping judge the competition. On Saturday, we operate uh, the Mariana's experience from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. The reason is we're presenting the Christmas in the Marianas. And uh, last Saturday, we had the Christmas uh, Carolian competition at the elementary level. And this coming Saturday, it's going to be the uh, middle school, junior high, uh, still Carolian competition. Being a judge, uh, I remember some of the criterias, not only the, the attire that the students were wearing, uh, the songs that they sang, and they were given um, five minutes for them to perform their Carolyn song. They'll continue on with their Christmas festivities on the 16th and 30th of this month. Two of the $17 million in boost funds wasn't used to boost businesses at all, according to Representative Ebb Probst. The boost program, launched under the Taurus administration, was intended to provide funding to businesses struggling from the economic effects of COVID-19. However, members of the House of Representatives are currently investigating possible insider payments and mishandling of funds. Probst says that a significant amount of the money went into marketing alone. They were essentially marketing uh, this program that gives out free money, essentially. I, I don't know, but that is not a very difficult thing to sell. If, you know, you put it out there to the public on social media and, and through a couple of ads in the paper and KSPN and other things, people will get the message. So the amount that was spent on the marketing aspect... Um, was quite substantial and uh, it was, we, we feel it was quite a bit of money. And so when we're talking about this overspending and all the, all the, the issues that we're going through, um, you can just look at the marketing aspect of it and what were the de actual deliverables, right? Um, what exactly did all of this, uh, why was all of this extravagance needed for a program that was essentially just to give out money? The Boost Program's marketing team has been subpoenaed, and the House Committee on Federal Assistance and Disaster-Related Funding has given them an extension on their time to find and present their records. We have um, put out, uh, it's a, called a subpoena ducis tecum. It's not for them to come in and testify uh, originally, but to turn in documents that we are requesting, that we are lo looking at. So we have received some, but not all of the documents that we are asking for. So basically we have asked for more documents and um, we've, by their legal counsel, they've asked for an extension of time. 
So we've been kind enough to grant them some additional time, an additional 15 days to uh, get the information that we are requesting. Probst also told KSPN that the Commonwealth Economic Development Authority wrote guidelines on how the money should be handled, but it was disregarded. The boost program actually had um, approached somebody to, to, to design the program, to actually have rubrics, to have rules and regulations and, and put in place. And they went to uh, the Commonwealth Economic Development Authority and the person that was uh, working on that and actually who, who d developed it, the program for, you know, and the, the guidelines and rules and regs for that uh, was uh, Dave Guerrero, who, who is employed at uh, CEDA, uh, Commonwealth Eco Economic Development Authority. And so we uh, uh, asked him to, to submit uh, what he had worked on, and we thought it was really good. Um, it had rules in place. It, it said how you qualify. Uh, it made total sense. They totally disregarded it and chose not to use it whatsoever. They decided to make up and, and deal with things on their own. What? Yes. That's what? Honest, we have the documents. We have it in place. And, and it was well written. It made sense. And it, had this thing uh, been used, it would have changed a lot of things. I mean, uh, Boost could have been a legitimate program. Zoom Zoom! Tis the season for speed, and Docomo Pacific is putting prepaid customers in the fast lane. Starting November 3rd, 2023 to January 31st, 2024, every $5 prepaid card purchase from a participating store gives Docomo Pacific customers a chance to win a brand new Mazda 3. So load up at participating stores and drop off your entry to any Docomo Pacific retail store. Docomo Pacific, better together. Some conditions apply. Visit DocomoPacific.com for details. Across the nation, more and more people are driving under the influence of drugs. The CNMI Department of Public Safety would like to remind you to drive safe this holiday season. Do not drive while under the influence of marijuana, opioids, methamphetamines, or other potentially impairing drugs, including prescription and over-the-counter medication. These drugs can impair your driving and can put you and others in harm's way. Be responsible this holiday season. It's not just your life at risk, but the lives of the people around you. Don't let one poor choice ruin the holidays for you or your loved ones. Drive safe this holiday season. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the CNMI Department of Public Safety. Remember, if you feel different, you drive different. Get your goods here with care and attention with Micronesia Air Cargo Services. Max is all about connections, daily flights to and from Guam, four times a week to Rota, and bi-weekly flights to Tinian. We are connecting the Marianas. Perishable goods, Home Depot furniture and appliances, even live animals operating since 2013. Check out our Thursday special to Rota from Guam and Saipan. Call Max at 670-288-6227. If it fits, we'll take it. One of the best addresses in Saipan has office space available now, right in the heart of things. The Marianas Business Plaza offers reasonable rates and can help build to suit your needs. You'll love the central location, just 15 minutes from the airport and 10 minutes from Garapan. Ample and covered parking keeps your vehicle close and protected. Two restaurants for easy access, lunch, dinner and business meetings. Building security and 24-hour access to your office. Backup generators so you can run your business in all weather. And three elevators mean easy and convenient access. It's the address in Saipan, the Marianas Business Plaza. Guadalcanal was home to one of the biggest battles in the Pacific. Japan on one side, the U.S. and Australia on the other. Today, another battle, less violent but serious nonetheless, involving influence of the East and the West in this strategic part of the world. The capital city of Honiara is hot, crowded, and kind of dirty. 
There's very little air conditioning and lots of people on foot or getting into crowded minibuses. Just one main paved road that goes just a few miles, no traffic lights. After that, the roads are unpaved and filled with potholes. All the shops are owned by foreigners. We visit the local tourism office and a friendly tourism official suggests that we get on a boat and visit some nearby islands that have a more traditional way of life. Sign us up. We recruit some golfers who don't start competition for a few more days. And despite some early logistical issues, we are soon all headed to the boat area. These boats are used primarily for inner island transportation, not transporting tourists. Wait, what are we going to do again? Um, today, the trip will be from here straight to Simon's Bay, do snorkeling there at Simon's Bay and access fee have to be paid on Simon's Bay to Simon. How's the water conditions today? The water condition, yeah. Uh, at least today will be sunny day, but like uh, in the afternoon sometime, it's a little bit uh, choppy, but at least it's okay. okay. At least hope who's everybody's... Who's this? He's uh, my nephew. <laughs> Now I can feel exactly what the rest of the team is thinking. Nelson, what did you get us into? Mr. Peter, what do you think? Well, I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> we see the ride over an hour and a half of this. <laughs> Franco, what do you think, buddy? Uh, I'm excited. It's uh, new. We're gonna ride a banana boat. So see how that goes. <laughs> Sass, what do you think, buddy? Huh? What do you think? It's very, uh, very different. Yeah, yeah, Very nice. The locals call these banana boats and we push it into the brown water and soon we get up to speed. Thank you. And then something special happens. The brown water turns to a more friendly shade. We cross the channel, and after about an hour or so, we are in magical waters. At Simon's Bay, we stop in to ask permission to swim. While the negotiations are ongoing, the kids come out to see what is going on. Simon wants to know where we are from. So, Mariana, close to Saipan? That is Saipan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a book about uh, the history of Saipan. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah? Wow. yeah. <laughs> Simon sets us up, and we are soon snorkeling and answering his trivia questions while we enjoy Simon's Bay. Next, we head a bit further, looking for a shipwreck that marks the spot of our next landing. <laughs> the captain of the MS World Discoverer hit an uncharted reef near here and limped ashore. Nobody on board died. A salvage operation was attempted, but then abandoned after an exchange of gunfire with locals who thought the ship was just fine where it was. It has been stripped of items of value. We land softly and receive a true island welcome. Hi. Thank you. What's your name? Stephanie. It's a pretty good place to be shipwrecked. Beautiful spot, tall coconut trees, idyllic water. And Franco Santos decides to get a swing lesson. Zim and Jin does more of a walkthrough. But wait, there's more. The local residents have rigged up a ladder and a homemade zip line to use the deck of the World Discoverer as a launch pad. There are no waiver forms here, just to climb the ladder and go at your own risk, so we do. And I gotta say, it was pretty fun. Yeah. 
<laughs> How's that? That's a rush just <laughs> standing there. <laughs> right? Next, we decide to hike to the village. It's pretty hot here in the jungle, and our guide says for a few Solomon dollars, he will get us some coconuts. That sounds pretty good. And then the guy proceeds to climb the tallest coconut tree I have ever seen. He's soon about 100 feet up in the air and tossing down some fresh ones. He descends and then we open them up and we have the best fresh coconut juice, complete with a natural straw made out of bamboo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Bamboo straw. That is environmentally friendly. We hike onwards and soon enter the village. About 300 people live here, and the kids show us around. What is this here? What's this building? Is this your school? What's your teacher's name? Uh, my teacher's name? Yeah. James. Oh, Mr. James. Okay. How about you? My mother, Janet. School is on holiday this time of year, so we have a look around the classrooms. Life is pretty simple out here in Roderick Bay, and although we are a relatively short boat ride away from the capital city, we feel worlds away. I take some photos of the kids, and they have fun looking at them. It's soon time to go. We make a right at the shipwreck and soon we are headed back to Haniara. The afternoon wind hasn't materialized and instead we are cruising on the smoothest seas that you can imagine. Our day of adventure has turned into a day of friendships, both old and new. And when Zim and Jin makes the LPGA tour one day, we will know that the first time she ever went zip lining, it was off a shipwreck in Roderick Bay. I'm sure she will remember it too. Chris Nelson for the Channel 2 News. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. Green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles call the Mariana Islands home. They are an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are under threat and they are protected under CNMI law. Keep plastic out of the ocean. Keep vehicles off the beach. Use the sea turtle stranding hotline if you see poaching activities or if you see a turtle in trouble. Call 287-8537 and save a turtle. Location, location, location. Office space on Capitol Hill available now at the Hermosa Vista Business Park. With natural light and ocean views, it's the perfect place for creative professionals. So upgrade your life and your working environment. Schedule an exclusive showing now. Call us at 
1-800-242-4750 or email hvsaipan at gmail.com. Buenas sports fans. The second annual Run Saipan 5K in Half Marathon is tomorrow with a different course than last year. After the runners don their complimentary ugly Christmas sweater, they'll be taking off from Micro Beach in the morning. The course will go from there to the softball field in Marpy, which is a turnaround point. The race will end right where it started back at Micro Beach. Run Saipan's Edward De La Cruz gives the details on the course. Um, we're not running the same course this year. We like to pride ourselves in making the first half marathon point-to-point -point course. Unfortunately, due to the ro ongoing road construction, which we really need as runners, right? That's important to have a good road out there. Um, we're going to be doing this official Saipan half marathon course this year. So the course that we're running this year will be the same exact course as what NVA will be running in March. So runners will be going through Route 30 from uh, Club Elan starting line next to the Hyatt, next to Micro Beach. But instead of taking a right to PIC, they're going to run down to the CHCC traffic lighting station, take a left down Route 30. And their turnaround is going to be the old softball field in Marpy right after Mariners Resort. And then they're going to come back. So instead of running to PIC, they're going to be running an out and back course down to Mariners Resort and back. So that's going to be the most significant difference for the race course. Atkins Kroll is the title sponsor of the event, and they contributed a $5,000 check to run Saipan. AK sales manager Kevin Barnes. We've received a lot of thank yous from Run Saipan to us, but really it should be the other way around. Um, Run Saipan does amazing things for the community, getting people out there, uh, getting them active, concerned about their health, and keeping you know the community together um, in positive ways. So we thank you. We really appreciate the opportunity to work with you, to give back to the community, and to be a part of something that gets everybody involved in a healthy way. As you mentioned, especially during the holidays, it's the most important time to focus on your physical and your mental well-being, you know, and, and things like this really give people an opportunity to do that. Crown Plaza will host an awards banquet afterwards. And this year we're introducing our first time we're finally going to do an award banquet. So every person that participates in this half marathon, you will be covered for an award banquet at Crown Plaza in the Atari from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So shout out to Crown Plaza for having our awards banquet this year. This will be the first time we'll be doing it. I'm really excited. Last year we focused more on the race, now we're starting to add extra stuff into our half marathon. Golfers come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. Taking a look at our weather tonight, partly cloudy with isolated showers. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll be seeing lows around 78 and a 20% chance of showers. Saturday, partly sunny with isolated showers. 
east winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, looking at highs near 87 and a 20% chance of showers. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy with isolated showers. East winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, lows around 77 and a 20% chance of showers. Low tide this evening will be 0.4 feet at 11.09 p.m. before going up to 1.6 feet at 5.50 a.m. tomorrow morning. Low tide will be 1.1 feet at 10.24 a.m. tomorrow morning before going up to 2.1 feet at 4.38 p.m. later that evening.